Hi, we're Paul and Marie. We're a UK reselling couple based in Southampton in Hampshire. And this is the turning 10 old toys into £2,000 challenge. So where are we this week? Well, honey, it's recap time, isn't it? It is. Start the video. Let's tell them where we are. So if you're new to watching these challenge videos, um, the premise is we've got 10 of our daughter's old toys. Yeah. We are selling them or trying to sell trying them. Trying to sell them, yeah. And when they sell, <clears throat> the money gets reinvested into a clothing and shoes challenge. Yeah. That's it's it. a year-long challenge that we are trying to get to £2,000. We're sort of learning on the way. It's, it's yes. a challenge for us. Yes. So that's sort of what we're doing. Mm. Um, so we are now at week eight. Can you believe that, hun? Eight weeks have gone, whoosh, just like that. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? So at week eight, we've got a recap for you. So we started off with ten toys, only four have sold. I know. So we've still got... We've still got six. They listed, haven't sold yet. They haven't sold. So we might have to um, have a look and tweak, the tweak, price. tweak them a little bit and yeah. see if we can um, get them going. So from the sale of those four toys over the eight week period, we have bought 25 items, I think that says, mm. and we have sold four items. So at the start of the week, we had £8.75 to spend in the kitty. Mm. So we're going to show you what we bought with that money. Hun, I think you've got the start there with those tap shoes. Ooh, tappy tap taps. Now I got very Oops. excited when I saw these ones because our daughter has been a tap dancer for a few years now. You can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Em's does a lot of tap dancing. She does a lot. She's very good. <laughs> and we bought these block shoes, um, and they are very expensive. We know to how buy. expensive they can be. So we knew straight away when we saw them for three pound, we knew that we were going to get them. Yeah. They're in very good condition. I think someone bought them to take it up, realise how hard tap dancing <laughs> yeah. actually is, and then donated them to the yeah, charity shop. that's it. So this week I've been fairly organised and I've actually got the prices of what we're going to list them for. So we bought these for £3 and we're going to list them for, oh, what's that say, £28.99. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magnifying glass. That's not bad, is it, my love? That's not bad at all, £28.99. £28.99. Yeah, definitely. And then we've also bought some Clark's Cushion Cell 8G brown leather shoes. These are men's these shoes. It is. It yeah. is. And they were £3 and we are putting them up for £26.99. Might as well just keep my glasses on, hun. I'm fooling no one. <laughs> With bad eyes. £26.99. They're quite good, Nick, huh, aren't they? They are. Yeah, they are. Not bad condition at all. So where are we now with our 10 toys challenge? We've shown you those items. So we had 8.75. Those two items cost six pound, which brings us down to two pound 75. Massive amounts in the kitty hun. But breaking news, dun, dun, dun. we've sold something. Yeah. We're gonna hoof it up there, my love. Hoof it up there. We've sold the white stuff, red and pink top from only recently, I think. Mm. And that has given us Profit of £4.50. So if you're new to this challenge, what we basically do is when we sell the item, we take off all the fees, we take off all any promoted postage. fees yeah. and, and postage. Yeah. And what we are left with is, is the profit that gets reinvested back in. So yeah. this leaves us with £4.50 to put back <clears> in the kitty. Yeah. But hun, breaking news. Not more breaking We've news. We sold another one. It was that <laughs> ugly shirt that we called. Oh yes, the ugly shirt that we... we <laughs> From a few weeks ago. We left and then went back again. Yes, we spotted <laughs> this in a charity shop and didn't buy it one week, yeah. went back the following week and saw it there and thought, let's no, get let's it. let's just get it. It's different. Unique things do sort of sell. Yeah. Um, and this was £10.48, hun. This gave us profit. So mm. that's not bad. It's not a bad one, was it? No. No? So Please that gives that. us fourteen ninety eight in sales this week for the, for the 10, to 10 Toys here. Challenge. So if we add that to the £2.75 that we had just a minute ago, we now have £17.73 back in our Toys Kitty. Yeah. Woo! But we do have a lot of clothing to go with that as well. We do. It's already listed, don't we? So we'll go, we'll go over that in, in a minute. Let's, we'll do Miss A's Ooh, now. Miss A's. Now, if you're new to this 
this video we have a lovely lady who wanted mm. to remain anonymous we call her miss a and she donated a box of 30 high-end items didn't she all branded yeah. good names so we run a separate challenge to hers. It runs alongside it, which is Emily's, Emily's spending money. Because the reason we're doing the challenge in the first place is to try and give our daughter a two thousand um, pound sort of bonus for yeah. her twenty first birthday, so she yeah. can have a lovely two week holiday, which she's never had a two week holiday. Mm. So Miss A's um, fund is going to be for the spending money, and Miss A is romping ahead, isn't she? She is. Yeah. So we've sold. We had 30 items, we've sold 19 items, and we have bought 48 items. So that had a kitty of 1958 at the start of the week. Hun, let's show them what we bought. We've got this gorgeous um, jacquard style jacket from Phase 8, new with tags. Originally, Hun, this was 100 and. Twenty pounds. Wow! But some someone's written all over it. Oh, well, they haven't. Have um, they? With the pen. So <coughs> I'm thinking we'll we're going to. We we're we've paid six pound for that. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. Good yeah. quality. And yeah. we will be putting up for thirty four ninety nine. Um, yeah. We are pricing things to sell quickly, aren't we? Because we, we are. are trying to turn the money over quickly, because we are trying to amass a certain amount. So the next thing, hun, is the, if you go for that, um, Jack's Vert. I don't know if I've pronounced that wrong or not, probably. This is a second-hand item. We paid four ninety nine, and I think we're going to put it up for twenty two ninety nine. Yeah. Whether we'll get that or not, might be a little bit ambitious, but it's very pretty. It is, isn't it? Sort of, sort of thing you wear on a cruise, if you were lucky enough to go on a cruise. <laughs> So one then day. we've got shoes hung. Either one. Either. Let's go for these then. What make are they? Are they these the are the MS Airflex. Yeah. So they're like a traditional leather shoe. We paid um four pound and we'd be putting up for twenty <laughs> twenty four ninety nine. Realistically probably get around about the twenty yeah. pound mark. Soles are quite good as well. Yeah, quite good. I'll give them a bit of a clean, I've not been clean or anything yet. Yeah. But so yeah. then the next one we've got hung is these Clark's Cushion Cell 8H shoes and these were £2.50 and we will be putting them up for £22.99. Now we got a lot of this stuff from the charity shop in Wales that we went to recently. Didn't yeah we, we did, yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, normally we don't have a lot of luck buying um, shoes, especially sort of um, these style of shoes from charity shops, they're normally too expensive. Yeah. Really reasonable though, weren't they? Very, very. I was um, really surprised. So where does that take us to with Miss A's um, fund then? So we started out with 1958. We've just spent, on those four items, we've spent £17.49, which leaves us a kitty of £2.09p. But breaking news, hun, dun, dun, dun. we've sold something from Miss A's <laughs> kitty as well. So this is the Dorothy Perkins grey tunic dress that you're going to hoof up there, my love. Mm -hmm. And this gives us back £7.04p. So don't forget we take off all the fees, fees and, postage. and the postage. And this is the profit, the pure profit from that item. So we're going to add that to the £2.09p. And that gives us £9.13 in Miss A's kitty. Now, we thought because it's we've been eight weeks into the challenge, we thought we would give you... A little bit more detail this week, mm. hun, didn't we? we were spoiling you. So we've got, let's go back to the 10 toys one. We've bought 27 items. We have sold six items. That leaves us with 21 items in stock that are on eBay. Mm. And hun, I'm going to give you the big listing value. Wow. Those 21 so items are Quake 2. Quake 2, £461.83. Now, obviously, that includes, that is the listing yes, value. Yeah, that's, so not, that's not including, that's not taking off the fees. No, anyway, and so. in this challenge, we do take all the fees off and the <coughs> postage yeah. off, and that leaves us with the profit. This, obviously, yes. the profit would be a lot less. Yes. But it gives yes. you an idea of the value from those 21 items. Yeah, yeah. How in eight weeks, we've started from nothing. We've sold yeah, some just toys. Yeah, ten, ten we've sold four toys. Four we've toys. We've still got six of them. So from those four toys, we've gathered 21 items mm -hmm. on eBay uh, with that listing value. That's it. So, so that's where we're at at our eight-week yeah. period. So now let's tackle the big one, which is Miss A's. 
just, so, a, just a bit different. She donated 30 <laughs> items, the legend. We've bought 52 items, we've sold 20 items, and that leaves us with 62 items that are here. And not all of them, obviously, are listed because we've only just shown you some of them. Yes. Um, but we so do 60, list yeah. every day, don't we? So, so that's 62 items, including some of the ones that haven't sold from the original box. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, that's what yeah. hers equates Earth, to. Yeah, so so do you want to do the big reveal, the listing value? So the listing value of those 62 items is £1,290.02. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it's, it's, you can see it's, it's gathering. Mm. you know it is it is building so it's only been eight weeks we should eventually get to a point where we've got the pot going up as well as the the items you know what i mean as they start to sell yeah and i suppose as we get um, towards the end of the year i suppose we stop buying is that how we do it so that we can get the money out well we'll we'll, we'll see yeah see, see how, how we goes. get on yeah so yes that's where we're at um in the challenge but now you've got the exciting part of the video where we talk about the research now we've been to these charity shops um, we've looked at everything every item um, and we've come back this week with some shoes which has made us sort of think about men's shoes now we are mm. specializing this week on brogues that's all we're going to talk about because when we've been into these charity shops we've looked at each other and gone oh do you know this name no do hmm. I, mm, I don't know some some names you get a feel and you think oh that sounds a bit yes. higher end but we just don't, don't know. know no we've um, all watched watched um george ross haven't we with oh, yeah, Lokes, yeah, yeah. and we yeah. know about lokes yes but whenever we see lokes they're always mm. 15 pound in their lot well, above uh, they're higher than higher that. that yeah because the people in the charity shops they're also watching george ross's <laughs> videos <laughs> yeah. and learning about lokes so there are some brands that you know it, it's a slim chance of getting but there are some brands that people don't just don't know about because we don't mm. know about them either no that's it. so i've got what i've done this week is gone through some of the brands so that we can both have a look at it and mm. discuss um, what ones, what they roughly go for. Now, what I will say, when I do the research, I look on solds, but um, just be aware that some of the items on solds have sold at auction and they tend to be a lower value. Yes. Um, so Generally, I'm trying to yeah. look at both. Um, you know, what we tend to do is we sell, most of our stuff sells as buy it now. Yes. If we had an eighty-five pound yeah. pair of shoes, we would put them at eighty-five pound. Yeah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't, we wouldn't put risk an auction because on auction they can go for silly money. Yeah. I mean, you you can get more, but it, it, it's pot luck, really. Yes. Um, you've got to have the right people looking at the right time. So we these figures are based roughly on um, on them selling sort of buy it now. Mm. So we've got Reese to start with. They go for roughly hung between 20 40 pounds. So if we were buying them for five pounds, we would be happy to put them up for 20. Mm. With all of these, they tend to be leather, brogue type shoes. And obviously it's like anything in life, the better the condition, the more money you're gonna get. Yeah. So just bear that in mind. Lokes, we've talked about Lokes, haven't we? Yeah, um, massive range. <laughs> yeah, between 20 and these are all secondhand prices. Uh, I did see a price on there for 165 pound. Yeah. But obviously they might have only been worn once or twice. They were in a really yeah, yeah. good condition. So condition really does make a difference. Yeah. You've got a company called Chapman and Moore. They go for between 25 and 40 pounds. Um, I want to say Cheney. Do you think that Cheney? Cheney. Um, yeah. They go between 20 and 165 pounds. Then I've come across a company called Churches. Now eight have sold over the last two days, but six of those have sold for over 100 pound. So they are what I'd call a really high-end, mm. bit like Lokes, they're a high-end brand. Mm. You've got a, a Barker, they go for between 25 and 80 pounds. Berwick, I'm assuming that's how you say it. You're looking between the 30 pound and the 100 pound. Now the reason we're focusing on the prices is because sometimes at a charity shop you might see something for 10 pounds. So say for example we see um, some churches shoes for 10 pound. Mm. If you think you're gonna get over 100 pounds, you oh, are happy to pay yeah, 10 pound. Yeah, um, but it's knowing whether they're only going to go for £20. That's yes. the thing. So we've got Charles Thwit. We've seen a few of these, haven't we, um, in the charity shops? A few of this, this yeah. brand. Um, these go between £30 and £75. So they have got quite a good um, sale rate. Mm. So if they were in really good condition, we probably would yes. buy them for £10, wouldn't we? Yes, we would, yeah. So we've got Jeffrey West. Um, this is an unusual one because... 
they're 25 pound plus but most of the solds are going for the 50 pound plus right so it's quite a good name to look out for jeffrey west grenson these are going for 35 pound plus samuel windsor now we've seen a few samuel windsor haven't mm, we we have but they go between 20 and 30 pound but only if they're in really good condition so mm. the condition is key yeah paul smith 25 pound plus mm. now all these brands are over 20 pound and more but we've chosen the two biggest hitters really which are lokes and we've looked at a uh, what one of them called a tan brogue called Chester, just to give you a rough idea on pricing. So we mentioned about auction, but you do get the odd one that does go for good money on auction, but there are, um, they do change in price. So just be aware of that when you're looking. So to give you an example, um, these Chester brogues sold for 75 pound 35 on an auction. The same shoe the day before only sold for 56.35 and on the same day a pair sold for 45.45 so you can see there's a big difference there in sale price mm. but they are you know over the 45 pound mark yeah, yeah. so you you can get a rough idea of what you're willing to pay sometimes you you know might want to pay 15 pound in the charity shop mm. if if you think you're going to get 75 pound back yeah that's it but the other brand that had even um higher prices was churches and we chose um, a shoe called Burwood, which again is a brogue. Now, the first one we bought was, for the first one we looked at was in very good condition, hun. Excellent condition, £159.44 that went for. But the same shoe went on auction for £45. So you can see the massive difference. You see the gamble with the auction. But to, to give you an idea of other prices, um, a, a similar pair sold for £56.45. Mm. Then... 149.90 then 69.24 another pair sold for 62.69 a pair with a box sold for 151 pounds and mm. another pair sold for 134.99 and these are all over the last few days mm. so it gives you you know you can sort of see the massive difference yeah. but if we were in a charity shop and we saw a pair of churches brogues I think even if they were fifteen pound, we would take a chance based oh, yeah, on yeah, those definitely. prices. Oh, Christ, yeah. So hopefully, well, even more, you can sort of see by what we've looked at there. Mm. Hopefully, it gives you an idea of some of the men's shoes because we have bought men's shoes this week, haven't we? Yes. Um, I haven't talked about um, more the lower value ones like Clarks, even <clears> though Clarks do go over the twenty pound because we uh, covered that a few weeks ago yeah, in, when yeah. we were talking about shoes. Um, and we were talking about leather shoes. Mm. But obviously these, we've tried to look at high-end shoes and these are the sort of brands. If we, out of the list, we'd be looking more Lokes and Churches. Yes. Yeah. Um, but any of these are £20 and over. Mm. But it's it's deciding whether you're happy to pay £5 in a charity shop or whether you're going to stretch to £10 or £15. Pound. Mm. But hopefully some of those names, you'll be able to remember them and, ha and have a look when you're in your own charity shops. And hopefully um, that has given you some sort of clarity on on what a pair of um, brogues, men's yeah. brogues, will go for, huh? That's it, yeah. Hopefully we can remember that when we go out. <laughs> but we'll never find a pair of churches, will we? No, we I mean, won't. we've never bought a pair of lokes. We, we, they're always either really bad condition or massively expensive whenever yeah. we've seen them. The problem is we're, we're doing all this research and then we have lists. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> this thing. I'm hoping something's... I mean, lokes, we always look no, for lokes, don't we? we? Do, Every yeah. charity shop we pick up all the men's shoes and never find them, or they're massively expensive. The more you see these names, the more it does sink in. Yeah, we have seen, like Paul Smith, we've seen Paul Smith, we've seen Samuel, Samuel Windsor, Windsor yeah. and Miss Charles Fuwitt. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know how to say that, we've seen those. <coughs> um, but a lot of it is just is the knowing, isn't it? So hopefully um, that's given you some idea of the rough prices you can get um, on men's show, uh, men's show, shows. On men's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Getting weary, hun, we've not had enough coffee. No, we? no, we've got to have coffee in a minute. <laughs> but I think that sort of wraps up where we are with our eight-week... Yes. Being on, I am loving going chow shopping because we had a long time where we weren't going to chow. No, shops. we weren't because of the prices, weren't we? Yeah. we decided not to do it, and we were just concentrating on um, jumble trousers and mm. um, boot sales. But it's um, sort of but, shown us that at charity shops, you are getting the branded items, yeah. and they are open every day, so you can go any day, can't you? Any day. Yeah. Boot sales. What we're finding, we've only done two or three boot sales, but we're finding a lot of George and a lot of Primark. A lot of lower end stuff. Yeah, I'm quite, quite surprised because we thought we would find some. Yeah, I mean, we've not, we've not well, been to many boot sales. No, no, that's, that's it. I mean, we, we might have just unfortunately picked the wrong ones. Yeah. So, um, but we'll see. But that's what we're sort of finding out at the minute, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
But yeah, we're happy how it's going. It's building, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So as always, we'd want to thank you for taking your time to support us and watch mm. us. Yes. Um, as we're sort of, you know, winging it through life. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our challenge video. And if you liked our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free. You don't need to pay anything. Just click that little button Ooh, down there. Oh, free? <laughs> free? Nothing's free anymore. No. And um, if you do click the bell icon as well, um, you'll receive notification for our future videos. Yeah, and you'll make two old people very happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.